So this is the world's first microcontroller based AI vision module powered by ARM Cortex M55 and no it's not like the regular ESP32 cam based boards well it's way powerful than that but still consume way less power. So now let me first show you a comparison video. So on the left I'm using the Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense board and on the right I'm using the Groove Vision AI Module V2 and you can clearly see the difference. The one with the Vision AI Module V2 has a higher frame rate as compared to the Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense board and still with the higher frame rate the power consumption is very less. I'll let you know more in detail in this video so let's just start with the unboxing part. So this is how you'll receive the product in the standard Seed Studio packaging and while opening the box we get the Vision AI Module V2 a connecting wire and a sticker that has a brief introduction about this module and that's the complete unboxing of it. Now let me tell you some amazing specs of this module. So this module is based on Wise i2 HX6538 processor which has a dual core ARM Cortex chipset. Out of them one is the high performance core running at 400 megahertz and the other one is the high efficiency core running at 150 megahertz and it is integrated with an ARM Ethos U55 which is micro NPU which stands for neural processing unit running at 400 megahertz. It also got PUF based hardware security as well which stands for physical unclonable function. Now along with the chipset, this module also got on board 16 MB of flash memory, a PDM microphone, a SD card slot, a CSI connector for external camera, a groove connector and a dedicated pinout for connecting Xiao based microcontroller boards from Seed Studio. So that was the complete specification about this board and now to use this module we need to have an external camera. So here I'm using my Raspberry Pi camera and I will connect it with the module at the CSI port. And now let's move on to the computer and see how to use it. So now the first step to use this board is you first need to install the proper driver on your system required for this module. And on the documentation page from Seed Studio they have provided the link for all the uh, different drivers for different different systems. In my case I will install this uh, one for Mac OS. You can install for Mac or Windows according to your system. After successfully installing the drivers now we are good to go to use it and now here as you can see uh, they already provided that this board can be used with the Arduino IDE of course you need a Xiao board for that then you can also use it with the SenseCraft AI that's a platform provided by Seed Studio for doing the AI ML based projects with no coding or less coding and the third one can be used directly with the home assistant okay in this video I'll be covering the Arduino part and the SenseCraft AI part you can still refer to this documentation page for both of this and home assistant as well I'll leave with the link in the description let's start with the SenseCraft AI model assistant and for that you need to go to SenseCraft.Seed.Seed CC and here you need to make the account. In my case, I already created, I'm logged into my account as well. Now here, we'll go to the public AI models. Now here, as you can see, there are a lot of AI ML based models already provided on this platform for different, different boards. And currently this is supporting the, uh, the Jetson, the RE computer Jetson, the Xiao ESP32 S3 and the Groove Vision AI V2. That is what we are using today. So we'll select this board and let's see what examples we have for this board. So we have a lot of examples, a lot of models for this. So let's just start with the basic one, the phase detection one so I'll click here and now what I'll do is I'll straight away click the deploy button now here it will guide that we need to connect the camera on the CSI port in my case I already connected and I'll straight away click on the connect button now let me tell you I'm using my Google Chrome web browser and recommend to use uh, Google Chrome only for this uh, let's click on the confirm button and here as you can see that port the serial port automatically detected by the Google Chrome is just because I have the proper drivers installed in it if you don't have any driver uh, if you don't have the proper driver this may not show up I'll click on the connect button it will connect to this board and automatically start flashing that uh, firmware you can say or deploying that model into my board okay so the AI model is completely flashed onto this board and yes it's that easy to make the AI ML based project using SenseCraft so let's just test it out so on this side like on the right corner I can see a window where it can uh, show the you know uh, live footage from this camera so as you can see it detected the face with the accuracy of 86 83 percentage you can say which is quite good and it is quite responsive as well as you can see the frame rate is quite high that's what the what you can say plus point of this module so that was the basic example like how you can use this AI model v2 with the help of SenseCraft AI now you can also do some kind of action in it for example if we go into the output section here we can provide a condition like if the face detected confidence is greater than let's just say 
सेवेंटी ओके इफ इट इज सो जस्ट लाइट अप दी एल ई डी ऑन दी बोर्ड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द सेंड बटन इट विल सेंड दिस कन्फिग्रेशन एंड इट इज सेंड सक्सेसफुली सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज दर इज एन ऑरेंज एल ई डी लाइट अप राइट नाउ बिकॉज इट इज डिटेक्टिंग माई फेस इफ आई फेस इट अपर्ड्स एज यू कैन सी द एल ई डी टर्न ऑफ इफ आई फेस इट टूवर्ड्स माई फेस द एल ई डी टर्न ऑन ऑफ एंड on so it is working so this is how you can add some kind of actions like trigger based action on this sensecraft uh, platform itself and you know showcase your ai ml based project so this was the uh, very first example code let's just try out other example code and let's see what we can do more with this thing so we have the digital water meter digital meter electricity reading like it can scan that uh, meter and just pick up the numbers from it which is interesting we have a gesture detection as well like uh, rock paper scissor based game let's just try this out this seems interesting click on the deploy button and let's just click on the connect okay so this is also flash successfully let's test it out Okay, so currently it is showing my hand position, which is in the paper position with a conference level of more than seventy percent. Let's just do a different gesture. So this is rock. Okay, it is detected, and let's do the scissors. Okay, it is detected. So rock, paper, and scissor. Okay, so it is detecting perfectly and pretty fast as well. And that's another demo of how you can use SenseCraft with the Groove Vision AI model to do this ML based project. And here also you can do the output and put some trigger and put some action and do all kind of thing now here we have one more uh, thing on this uh, platform let me show you i'll click on the connect button so it started and here you can click on this icon which says about the device log so in this window we can see if the uh, gesture is recognized or not if it is recognized uh, what's the size of the box what's the position of the box and which kind of gesture is recognized everything is displayed on to this kind of serial monitor you can see which is provided here in the sense graph but we will not discuss about it in detail here rather what we'll do we'll discuss this in detail into the arduino id section so now let me teach you how to use this module in the arduino id with the help of the shao boards so first to use it with the arduino id i'll connect the shao esp32 s3 board on the top of the ai vision module and now i'll remove the usb connector from the ai vision module and insert it on the shao s3 board which is connected with my computer and now on my computer i first need to install this library from seed studio whose link i'll be providing in the description click here and just click on the download zip button for successfully downloading just open up arduino id then here you can go to sketch into include library and then into add zip library here is select the library which you just downloaded and click on the choose button now in my case i have already installed the library it is showing the error after installing this library you also need to install one more library for that you can go to the manage library section and here just search for arduino json and make sure you install this library as well click on the close button and now you're good to go to use it with the shao board for that you can go to files examples and here let's try out one example code provided by seed studio which is here and let's open the first example code i'll maximize this and let us keep the code as it is and select the right board and com port and hit the upload button so board is selected the com port is also selected and let's just hit the upload button now this code is being uploaded into the shao s3 board and previously we already deployed that uh, machine learning algorithm for detecting the gestures like stone paper scissor on to this ai vision model so both are different so don't get confused both are communicating with each other via i2c protocol and that's how like this vision model will give the data to the shao s3 board and later we can process that data and do whatever we want and that's what we're going to uh, look uh, right now in the arduino sketch so the code is uploaded and let's just open the serial monitor so here in the serial monitor we are getting the same data that we were able to see into the log window on sensecraft ai platform okay so currently it is not showing any kind of box because this camera is not recognizing any kind of gesture but as soon as make the gesture paper in front of the camera let's see what happens so as you can see it shows box 0 and target 0 score which is the confidence level and then x and y axis about uh, the box and the width and height of the box so all the data about that recognition is shown in the serial monitor and the target 0 means the paper target 1 means the stone and target 2 means the scissor gesture okay so it was showing the target 0 because i have done the paper gesture in front of the camera but as soon as i do the stone gesture in front of the camera as you can see the target is changed to 1 and as soon as i do the scissor gesture in front of the camera the target is set to 2 and that's how we can recognize 
which gesture is currently shown in front of the camera and now we can use this data to do all the further processing maybe uh sending the data to the cloud or doing any kind of action like turning on the light turning on the motor anything let me show you how to do that so i'll close this window and here as you can see all the data is shown separately with the different different functions okay so uh, let's take an example that in case the gesture is paper i want to turn on the led and how to do that for that what you can do is you can just copy this line of code and here below this uh, we'll put an if condition that if this target is equal to equal to zero zero means paper as i said earlier just digital right led underscore built in comma low now here the led built in is of reverse logic so if i put low here the led will turn on and i'll put else digital right led built in comma high so when i put high the led will turn off so simple code so if the target is zero that means paper it will just turn on the led let's just declare the led as output in pin mode so that's a simple code let's just hit the upload button and see if this works or not okay so here the code is uploaded and as soon as i do the paper gesture in front of the camera the light is turning on and for stone and scissor the light is not turning on and the response is pretty fast so paper stone paper stone so yeah that's how you can use the show board and program this with the arduino id to do all the ai iot task so that's how you can use this vision ai module v2 with the show board using arduino id for creating ai plus iot based projects and yeah that was all about this module well this module is not only fast as compared to other boards but it also consumes very less power like here is the image from the official seed studio website where it is compared with the previous generation of this ai vision module and the shao esp32 s3 sense board and as you can see the frame rate is high but the power consumption is lower than other two boards so that's the world's first microcontroller board for just computer vision. So let me know in the comments about will you be using this board or do you have any better recommendation about uh, a new board that can be used for computer vision based projects. Well, share your thoughts down in the comments of the video and let's have a fruitful conversation below. And well, if you generally love the video, well, a like will definitely be appreciated. And you can also support us by purchasing your electronic components and projects from us to techiesmas.com whose link is down in the description of this video. And in case if you want to buy this AI module, well, you can go to the Seed Studios official website and get one for yourself. And yeah, that is all about this video. And now just wait for my upcoming video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.